Together for Colorado Stories highlight ways people are coming together to make this state a better place for all of us to live. A new solar garden is doing just that. It'll help low-income families save on their power bills. Sean Chitness was there as these solar panels were being installed today. And Sean, this garden will certainly have a big impact in that community. Yeah, Karen, some people could see a savings of about 20% on their energy bill. That includes places like these townhomes behind me, just some of the places that will receive power from that new solar garden. Miles away from the people that will benefit from them, these solar panels are situated far from Denver with open space in every direction. No trees, no shade, just the sun. Uh, this project is pretty unique. It's one of the first uh, Housing Authority owned, developed, operated, and subscribed uh, solar gardens. It's the perfect conditions for Denver Housing Authority and its partners to create this new source of renewable energy land owned by the city of Aurora that could help other communities in the future. It allows for a more efficient system, the less panels with greater generation of power. Switch it the other way and just keep going. Volunteers installed some of the panels that will help 500 to 700 homes back in Denver. Designed to take in as much sunshine as possible all day long. In the morning the panels will be up like this facing the sun and as the day goes on they'll tip westward and catch the sunset on the uh, western slope over there. The project will cost four million dollars and take four months to complete. The goal is to not only save money for residents but keep costs down for future projects so resources can go to building even more affordable housing. Another way all the energy from this solar garden will go to low-income families. It's often uh, the last one to get options and access to renewable energy. Now they're a month into construction and they hope to have that solar garden finished by the end of the year. Live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First. Very impressive, Sean. Thanks. Let us know what's bringing people together for Colorado in your neighborhood. Send us a message on cbsdenver.com or drop us an email at togetherforcolorado at cbs.com.